Hello everyone, welcome back to another exciting After Effects tutorial. In this video, I'll show you how I animate this Panda Book logo in After Effects and walk you through the steps to create this amazing animation. The skill level of this video is advanced. You can download the vector file for practice, link is in the description below. The easiest way to start is by creating a storyboard. Begin by sketching your rough ideas on paper and keep refining until you're happy with the final version of your animation. This will serve as a guide when we start animating in After Effects. Once you're satisfied with your sketches, it's time to bring them to life in After Effects. First, I import the vector file into After Effects. I already renamed the layers for clarity. Then I simply converted the illustrator layers into shape layers and delete the illustrator layers. Then I changed the color label of each layer to recognize it better. It's time to connect layers to each other and it's called parenting. First select the hands and parent them to the book layer. This way we can control the hands with the book's movement. Next, select the nose and mouth layers and parent them to the head layer. Then parent the right pupil layer to the right eye and the left pupil layer to the left eye. Finally, select both eyes and ears and parent them to the head layer. Now I'll create the basic structure of the animation. I start by animating the head and the book. Let's solo the head, book, and hands. Then I select the head and book layers and add position keyframes at this point. I move the time indicator to 30 frames and add another keyframe. Then I move the time indicator to around 130 seconds, adjust the book in this direction, and move the head layer in the opposite direction. I continue this process, adding more keyframes to build the animation. Right now the animation is a bit slow, so I select all the keyframes and shorten them to increase the speed. Now it's looking better. Next, I open the scale properties of the book and add a scale keyframe. Make sure to uncheck the constraint icon, then adjust the scale values to alter the book's shape. The hands move along with the book since both are connected to it. I add more keyframes and adjust the scale values to match the movement. Now it's looking good, but feel free to adjust the book's position as needed. Now it's time to animate the face elements. I select all the face elements except the pupils, open their position properties, and add an original position keyframe. Then move the time indicator to the next keyframe of the book and adjust the face elements together. If any elements like an ear are misplaced, I correct their positions. I repeat this process continuously adjusting the face elements positions. Once finished, I select all the keyframes and convert them to Bezier keyframes for smoother animation. At this point, I select the right hand layer and add a position keyframe. I move the time indicator and adjust the hand's position accordingly, then shape the vertex handles for a curved movement. Once I reset the hand to its original position, I adjust the vertex handle again to create a smooth curve. When done, I convert these keyframes to Bezier keyframes and review the animation. I move this keyframe forward a bit because I need more space here. After that, move the time indicator slowly, where the hand position is here, not connected to the book. Then simply select the layer and split the layer. Then move the split layer below the book layer. Once again, move the time indicator slowly and set the time indicator at this point. Then once again split this layer and move the split layer above the book layer. Let me change the layer color. 
Now you can see the hand is looking like it's flipping the page. To create a realistic page flipping effect, I'll start by selecting the book layer and positioning the time indicator at the point where the right hand is positioned over the book, simulating a page turn. First, I select the book layer, duplicate it, and rename this new layer to page 1. This layer will represent the individual page that flips. To give page 1 a distinct look, I remove part of the book shape so only one page is visible. I also change the color to differentiate it from the main book, making it easier to follow along with the animation. Next, I place the page 1 layer below the main book layer. This ensures that the page appears to flip up and over the book naturally. Now I search for the path property in the page 1 layer. I add an initial keyframe for the path at the point where the hand begins to lift the page. This is where the flipping animation will start. Moving the time indicator forward slightly, I position it to when the hand is at its highest point in the flip. I create a second keyframe here and adjust the path of page 1 to match the hand's movement, creating a natural curve. This involves shaping the vertices so the page curls up as the hand pulls it. Once the first page flip is complete, I trim the end of the page 1 layer to end exactly at the completion of the flip. To keep organized, I change the color label of page 1 to make it easy to recognize. To create multiple pages, I duplicate the page 1 layer, moving each new page slightly forward in time. I adjust each page's path and timing to match the hand's position during each flip, creating the effect of multiple pages turning one after another. After adjusting the timing and paths of all the pages, I select each page layer and parent them to the main book layer. This way, any movement applied to the book will affect the pages as well, creating a cohesive look. And that's how I animate this logo in After Effects. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.